Hello, Tush here with Tactical Hive, and we are going to talk about fighting in doorways. All right, so I got a drill for you. Um, we're going to talk about how to handle doorways and how to open doors and things like that. But first, I want to do a drill where you're getting comfortable moving around this, this threshold, mm -hmm. okay? And you're going to be engaging targets inside the room from outside the room, okay, across the threshold. Um, it's it's a skill set that gets used a lot but doesn't get trained a lot okay because of safety reason, reasons it ranges and stuff like that we're doing simunition i think there's a perfect opportunity for us to actually work and become becoming smoother at the threshold because this is the danger spot right yeah okay so let's get it on and then let's walk through this okay so what i want you to do is it doesn't matter which side you start on you're gonna you're gonna start from over here okay or over there and there's two ways to handle it. There's a slower, methodical way to do it, and then there's a little bit more smoother way to do it. I'm not a big fan of doing this methodically, unless I absolutely know there's a threat there. The slow, methodical way, essentially, two hands, or if you're gonna do you know, closer grip, whatever, however you wanna do it, is to slowly attack this corner, okay? And not, you're not pointing your gun at this corner, you're pointing past the threshold here, right? So just taking it and then slowly slicing that pie and then engaging your targets and you do that. Problem is it takes a lot of time and right, we're not rushing to get in a gunfight, but when you do this slower, in my opinion, you are also an easier target to hit. Okay, so I, I'm not saying it's a wrong technique, I just, I don't prefer it, okay? It's not a bad technique, so you're gonna try both. But for the drill, what I want you to do is I want to work on getting you past this threshold a little bit faster mm -hmm. and still engage targets. So as you're moving through, you're going to move through. And as you move through, you're going to engage the targets as you see them. Do you think someone's going to be able to get that shot off as you're moving through like this? It's going to be much more difficult. He's going to be chasing you, right? Right, right. Okay. And you're getting a good snapshot of what's in the room and possibly engaging those targets. So the whole goal of this is just practice engaging the targets and moving through as quickly as you can, okay? okay? So if you wanna try it a slower methodical way one time, okay. but once you do that once, what I want you to do is you're gonna go back and forth just roll, rolling across that door okay. over and over again until you know, go through a mag change and even if the mag change happens there, continue on with it okay. and keep moving through, All right. okay? Fight through your situation. So this one, I'm gonna go slow first. Slice that pie, see how that feels to you. Gonna take shots or no, nah, just- Yes, you're shooting. I mean, I, I, I definitely don't like it just simply because I see threats and I'm still moving slow. <laughs> right, 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 yeah. right, right. Okay. Right. So now try to be a little bit smoother. Try to use the hallway to your advantage. Okay. Work through the problem. Good. All right, don't let that gun penetrate that threshold. Okay, index. Okay, so that's the drill, okay? Uh, that's something you can do with airsoft in your house, you know, I, I recommend doing it. One thing I would watch out for whenever you're doing that, based on the space that you have, it may change. Mm -hmm. But if you've got the space, use the space. Got it. Okay, and I did it too on my, on my demo. What you don't want to have happen is this stuff. Uh -huh. Okay, see how my yeah. hands are going across that threshold? You want to stay out of that threshold. Okay. And so use that space as best you can. Got it. You know what I mean? So that's the drill. Okay, uh, the reason we're doing this, I noticed on some of the other stuff that we've done, you've, you, you have some difficulty with kind of figure out how you want to attack that, that threshold. So I'm yeah. giving you a tool that you can practice anywhere to do that. You know, the other tactic's not wrong. It's, it works. It just, it feels stagnant to me. It feels more dangerous to me. And uh, for those viewers uh, who 
don't know what Tosh is referring to, in a previous video we're doing low light, it's my tendency to back up and there was a particular situation where it made perfect sense to actually continue through, cross the, the doorway rather than kind of stay in that fatal funnel, so to speak. So if, uh, we'll leave a link to that video. So if you're not sure what Tosh is talking about, um, you can check out that video. Okay, Miles. Now you got you got kind of a movement of of clearing from outside, right? And we're going to talk about the threshold. Okay, this is some community call this the fatal funnel. Most communities do. There's mm -hmm. there's some schools of tactics where they have totally gotten rid of the fatal funnel. They'll say the fatal funnel is always where you're at. I I don't agree with that. Um, so I'm going to attack it from the perspective of the fatal funnel and the threshold. So. Anytime you come up on a threshold, you got to read it. Okay, you got to look at what do you got. All right. So in this room, if we're coming from the hallway, so we've got an inward opening door. Okay, or outward opening door. And how can you tell the difference between whether it's inward or outward opening? Looking for the hinges. Yeah, absolutely. Looking at looking at the crack, right? And then from there, you can figure out, okay, how am I going to attack this door? How am I going to open it? You know, I'm going to have to push it. Am I going to, if, so if I'm on this side, it's pretty simple, right? But if you have two hands, you're going to use the hand in, you know, weapon yeah. in your hand and you're going to crack it and push it with this hand, yeah. right? Getting everything off and then stepping back. Mm -hmm. Okay. Letting that, letting that fight develop if there's going to be a fight. Mm -hmm right see what the reaction is before you go rushing in okay if you have to do it from the other side okay when a door is closed right like this crossing back and forth the threshold depends on what school of thought you're coming from it, it is the more often you cross this the more chances of bad things happening so you got to make your decision on how you're going to do it let's say you don't want to cross that threshold and you got to open this type of door so the next thing is you're probably going to have to switch hands if you got a long gun, you know, whatever. But if it's pistol, you want to try to, <laughs> as best you can, use the door frame to your advantage. And you're going to want to push and back off, okay? Keeping, you know, yeah, getting a hold of your weapon if you're a two-handed shooter, you know, doing that. Yeah. So me, I have to do it kind of weird if I'm going to do this. But we won't get into that. And that's... That's essentially, you don't want to just open the door and enter. Yeah. Okay. That's just a bad, you know, obvious reasons, right? All right. So let's talk about if we're on the other side of the door. Yep. Come on in. Okay. Again, your approach is going to matter, right? You read the hinges. You can say, okay, it's in we're opening. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to have to open this, which is actually easier in this respect. You got your gun, you know. Simple, right? Yeah. So that's that's the ideal position. Sometimes, for whatever reason, let's say there's a wall here and you can't, you know, you just can't get in that space. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have to figure it out. I personally, you know, I have to do it different than you. I would be using this hand, yeah. you know. But gun, you know, and same thing, you know. Mm -hmm. This is difficult because now you got to clear the door, right? You got to get out of the way of the door itself. So that, that lends the danger. But if you look at this doorway, come on over here. Tell me what you see when you pull this door open. Don't worry about tactics. Just okay. look. So I can see through the crack. You can see through the crack. If, if space isn't in your favor. Yeah. Okay. But really what you want to do is Pull get that off. door open yeah. and be ready. Right. And you want to get the, you know, that, that one to two foot clearance yeah. off the threshold. Right. Plus that gives you a look at a better angle, you know, going out. Got it. Now this is, so you've cleared it from one side. Now this is where getting around that threshold is important because you want to clear as much as you can, right? Yeah. Before deciding to go into the, the, the point of no return, right? So at this point, that's when you would start using those rolling, those rolling techniques mm -hmm. Got it. on Makes that sense. door. Okay. Now with a handgun, what's cool about a handgun? Uh, because you got two hands, go ahead and put the gun in your hand, okay? If you're trying to decrease your signature, okay? If you're rolling this way, right? Go ahead and roll. You know, you're a big square. You got your body. You're, you're, you're squaring up because you're used to training with body armor and all that stuff. But decreasing your signature, well, not me because i got a gut, right? Um, but sideways, 
you know, if you're trying to decrease that signature, you're a much smaller target. Now, am I saying to do that? No, I'm not saying to do it, but that's an option for yeah. you. But being able to switch hands to decrease, just like you do with, an, with, a, with a long rifle, mm. you can do that with your handgun too. Got it. You know what I mean? But again, you got to train that, right? Yeah. So that drill we did earlier, right, where you're doing that, yeah, practice that's that's that good. as you're rolling. What, what, is the, what is the one that's going to give you the smallest signature? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you're blading, yeah. you know, and, you know, getting shot here or getting shot here, you're not wearing body armor. I don't know. Mm. It's the same thing to me, you know. <laughs> no one wants to get hit. Right. No one wants to get hit. Right. So, and you got the same vitals. If you're worried about how big you are as far as like your signature, this is an option to blade out. Mm. You it. know what I mean? And then if I'm going to do it this way. And then you can square up at this point, uh -huh. you know. Because what are we doing? We're fighting to get to the best position yeah. possible, right? Fighting to your sights and fighting for that position. Okay, Miles, that's that's a quick overview, a quick snapshot on how to handle thresholds, mm -hmm. okay? Gave you a little drill that you can practice. You can do it dry, you can do it with airsoft, you can do it with simunition if you want to spend the money on that. Yeah. Even paintball, you know, as long as you, but I do recommend that you practice training against this obstacle because it is an obstacle to deal with it's something common right right it's a common thing so overall i mean what's your take on it and what do you think yeah I, I definitely need like you said earlier in the video i not a lot of people actually train this they might do it because of the situation calls for it but they don't practice a lot so i remember from our previous scenarios this is something where instead of actually going to the other side of the threshold i tend to back away and there might be situations where it makes perfect sense to actually keep going so it's not natural for me so i do want to practice this more right so like yeah you know backing off there's nothing wrong with backing off at a certain point yeah but there's a point there's always a point of no return so backing off from that, you're just doubling yeah, your time exactly. in that space. In the, so. And particularly in that fatal funnel again. Right, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, I do appreciate also the, um, the how to handle the actual door. Uh, that is stuff that I've learned in the past, but also to get your take on it is mm -hmm. good as well. It's because this is common situation. We're gonna be dealing with doorways and you're gonna have to learn how to inward opening and outward opening door. So I really did uh, appreciate your view on that. All right, so if you like the content, please leave a comment below and uh, have a good day.